pro property is a little bit older but it's been flipped and with these flipped properties they always look good inside but let me show you some things that we found on it that are easy to spot just from your first initial walkthrough. Once you've gone through the house and you really discovered that this is the one for you, it looks good, it has all the rooms, the paint colors, I always recommend kind of walking around and looking for major issues before you put in that offer. Kind of get a big picture idea. So walk around outside and right here, these are one of the major issues. You can see the service entrance mast is hanging down low and it's easy to grab onto. This is a safety issue. Service entrance masts have to be hanging three feet above the roof and 10 feet <laughs> and 10 feet from the backyard. This is not something you want in your backyard. Another item that's pretty easy to spot is just look at the levelness of the property. Just with the naked eye, you don't need any tools or anything. If you kind of see this post right behind me, you can see it's leaning to the side. Uh, we did eventually use our zip level and figure out that it that there is a negative slope right there. But right now you can tell that's not structurally sound and it's not holding the weight it's supposed to. Next area, this one's actually kind of harder to spot more. You're gonna get this more out of experience of being in a lot of homes, but it's actually the dr drainage or the how the water is moving through the structure, trying to get an idea of how water flows. One of the hardest things to try to mentally take in as a home inspector or even a home buyer, how does water flow? You gotta think like water. And right here, luckily it was raining, but we probably would have caught this anyways, is right here, the patio is actually sloped towards the property and you can even see a little puddle right here where we had uh, some water issues. So water is actually flowing into the property from the negative slope. One of the next finds is in the backyard. They wanted us to look at the backyard shed. The backyard shed overall is built okay, but the electrical needs some work. An electrician started the work and never finished. So what they did is they tied this extension cord through the switch and then just wired it right into the lights into this property. Right now the extension cord is not plugged in so there's no power over here but we're definitely going to recommend for an electrician to come in here and bring this up to par. Another easy spot is just poorly installed fiber cement siding. Easy spot, easy thing to discover and kind of realize this is something you're going to want to budget for if you put in an offer on a property like this. Another easy find, just need a weather cover for the exterior. All exterior outlets need to be GFCI'd. All right, you can, some, you, can see some, you can see some microbial growth here, and whenever we turn on the faucet that is being wrapped in toilet paper, you wanna run it, and then after we run it a while, you can see the buildup, and we have some backup here where it's, oh, it's just spraying every, ah! Yeah, so we need a plumber. Definitely need a plumber. I'll get my sham wows again and clean up this mess. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one short. I'm sorry, I'm pretty wiped out. My dad had me help him rebuild the dock or I went and helped him rebuild the dock and I'm pretty tired. So I'm gonna leave Josh here, let him finish up and I hope to catch you on the next one. Always please and like and share the videos. If you have any home inspection questions, please give us a call. Thanks, bye.